I had a really, really profound morning this morning already. Uh, went to the beach. Normally I go to the beach before work if I don't have a, any other responsibilities. And today, the sun was rising. It was beautiful, perfect prayer meditation. And opened my eyes and in front of me was a homeless guy. And he just asked if he could talk to me. And I was like, absolutely. <clears throat> and he told me a story about how he'd been making some really uh, self-harming choices. He was addicted to crack cocaine and pornography. And he said all of it was, you know, coming to a head. He was on the street and he believed that he had been cursed by somebody using voodoo. <clears throat> now, I'm telling you, this guy's beliefs are eccentric for sure, but that's the power of the mind, right? If you believe something so strongly, it can grab a hold of you and become a negative force in your life, causing you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. And <clears throat> I got to relay one of my favorite images that uh, my friend Mike from my dad's house had told me about. And it was the image of Adam in the garden with God before the fall. The image of God's rest and practicing the presence of God in all things. <clears throat> and so that's what I was doing with this homeless guy, just listening to him. And <clears throat> when he was done, I realized it was time for me to get going if I wanted to make this trail walk. And I said, would you mind if I prayed for you? And he said, no, I was raised Jehovah's Witness and I always would accept prayer if offered. And so I took my hand and I asked his name. His name was Christopher. He grabbed my other hand and I prayed, prayed over him on the beach in front of everybody not caring who saw, no judgment, because this guy needed to be lifted, right? He told me afterward he came to the beach for healing and he saw me sitting there doing my meditation just being me. I was just there being me. And he came to me for whatever reason. He saw something in me that he needed. And I prayed for him and I hope that he feels better because of it. I know that I feel better because of it. Um, and that's, that's one of those, that's one of those blessings we always don't consider is by lifting somebody else into a higher state of knowing, we ourselves get to experience that higher state. Praise God, y'all. It's such a beautiful morning.